Good evening everybody, this is Kelly. Just wanted to let you know I got the, the first item of my scavenger hunt. Appears to be a uh, eastern tent caterpillar nest right here. You can see that after emergence, they create this silken tent, which helps them get their name. Uh, once they emerge from there, they're gonna get out into the canopy of this little cherry tree and they're gonna uh, chew on the leaves and defoliate it. Um, they're very discernible. They, uh, I wanna say that they get about two inches in length at full maturity. At that time, they'll migrate out of the canopy of the tree and try to find places to pupate where they turn into moths. They'll start the life cycle again, lay eggs that overwinter, and then they'll come out, out again uh, next spring. Uh, fairly common pest and easy to find in the landscape. Uh, they can be treated uh, with several different methods. One would be uh, removing the nest, destroying the nest, or a foliar application with a product called BT which is basically a bacteria that the insect ingests and it destroys their gut. And then they, it stops them from feeding. Uh, looks like uh, your Eastern Tank Caterpillar is gonna have one generation per year. They emerge in early spring and they love all uh, trees that is in the rose family. Uh, so, albeit, apples, crab apples, cherries, things of that nature. It's pretty common to uh, find the Eastern Tent caterpillar in them.